What's up guys, Versus Frogs here, and um, I did a lot of digging, and this video will be to expose Cara Edwards further as a liar, a liar and deceiver, okay? On the pro Monica side, on the pro Cara side, on the kick Vic, fuck Vic side, they're using videos that are just so subjective that you you really can't tell just from that tango dance that something so inappropriate happened that would just disturb her so deeply and then of course her later claims on the shit that happened with the hug and the knocking at the door you know of course there's no video evidence of that but I do have video evidence of a couple interesting things here so let's start off with this one Alright, so this is earlier at the Tango event, Animazement 2008. Vic's screwing around behind Kara, you know, just joking around, not doing anything at all there. And... what the hell was that? You, you poke the man down on his belt line? I mean... One might say that's probably just as flirtatious as you walking up and inviting the man to a tango dance, now wouldn't you say? Um, and this video uh, actually is a whole lot higher quality than that piece of shit video that they have been showing on Twitter. So I guess I'll show the tango dance again just because you can actually make out people's faces and shit. Um, so... Here's their little dance. Nothing going on here. I mean, yeah, Vic does have his head turned in a little bit, but he didn't, like, try to go in for a kiss or do anything crazy. Um, nothing. Nothing happened there. Nothing of significance happened there at all. And I just keep on seeing them go on and on on Twitter about it. Wow. She didn't want to do that dance. She just was doing it for the crowd. She walked up and invited him to the dance and made it see she came up like very seductive. If you're going to be throwing so much objective shit at Vic, then it's only fair to throw the same shit on her side. And I'm trying to be objective here. Like it, it was a tad bit uh, like the tiniest bit um, questionable that he had his head turned in like that, but he didn't go for a kiss, he didn't, he wasn't like whispering in her ear, I'd heard that's another big thing that they like to say that he would do, whisper in people's ears and make them uncomfortable and stuff, he didn't do anything wrong he did not do anything wrong, and if he did something wrong there, well then you did something wrong poking him on his like belt line basically, but um I just wanted to show something that was kind of interesting, okay? So this was at day three of Animazement. And when was Animazement in 2008, you might ask? Well, it was May 23rd through 25th. So that was May 25th. So what's going on here? Uh, unless I'm mistaken, that's Kara and Vic sitting right next to each other at NDK. 2008 vocal musings which was September 26 2008 and I looked up it up on Google just to make sure um, the event actually was September 12th through the 14th but that's four months later four months later Kara so what is your explanation there this is the man that uh, had an inappropriate tango dance with you that you were so uncomfortable with that um, knocked at, viciously knocked at your hotel door trying to have sex with you or something like that hugged you for a super long time and everything but you're sitting right next to the fucking man at this event okay and I know what the the pro uh Monica side is going to say pro car or whatever. Oh, well, the event probably put the seating so she couldn't change it. She could, she could fucking change it if she wanted to. 
She could have been sitting in the audience if she fucking wanted to. She's sitting right next to this man four months later. That's plenty, of, plenty, plenty of fucking time to not only not even go to the same event as the man, but if you are going to go to the same event, not be sitting directly right next to him. And it's not like it's only a four-person panel there. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a wide shot where it gets all of them on the panel. Because there was a couple people sitting to the left of Kara. Yeah, it's these two. These two women right here. So she could have sat two more, two more seats to the left. So then she wouldn't have had to sit next to Vic. But she's sitting right next to him. And I just noticed something really interesting. And since we're just throwing you know, theories and hypotheses and shit out there. Um, I just found this interesting. So, we already covered at Animazement Day 3, you know, these two are... She's... It's not even these two. Kara's poking him in his, in his stomach, you know, coming off kind of flirty right there she's coming up and inviting him to tango dance um then let's go to the day before the day before the the guy that does the voice of frieza was like doing saying kamehameha she's standing right next to Vic with nobody else around them at that event then this one is really strange here this is like pretty strange stuff okay so this is uh day two of um an amazement and she's sitting next to vic in this event also and he's like singing this weird song uh, like he's singing like a twinkle twinkle little star song and she does like this weird like dance where she's rubbing her body like next to him like you can see it right here there you can see her face and yeah she's like rubbing her body in like a sexual manner while I mean I'll play the what he's singing he's not like singing anything that would really I don't it's just kind of awkward but here we go. <laughs> How can I expect you to forgive? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not obviously not Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but he's not like singing anything that would really warrant that type of dancing. So, what the hell are you doing? Like, all this stuff put together, all of the sitting next to, dancing with, poking standing next to I mean it just seems like you're spending a lot of time uh, from the out outsider looking in it looks like you're spending a lot of time flirting with this man um, so I t totally doubt that what anything of what you say has any validity but just from an outsider looking in it kind of looks like you were interested in the guy actually I mean you weren't spending all your time dancing with Kyle Herbert you weren't spending all your time fucking tango dancing and poking fucking Chris Sabat you were doing all that with Vic so a little bit weird and then her whole thing about thinking he was gay and stuff I mean I'm pretty sure if you even knew the guy a tiny little bit you would know he wasn't gay so that's just another thing that's like whatever so i'd really like to hear what she has to say about all this shit because basically what we covered in the video is that if she was so uncomfortable with the man why the fuck is she sitting right next to him four months later and she did a lot of poking sitting next to dancing with all this type of stuff with Vic. it's just very questionable very questionable and it just may f furthers the agenda that looks like She's a liar. It makes it look like she's a complete liar. So anyways, Sprissus Frogs, 
Thanks for watching. Take care.